up guys d4 in gloves here today we're going to be showing you how to break in a brand new glove we got the autism glove here it you can squeeze it just a little bit but it is not even practice ready it is very stiff all you need is a baseball any baseball and a five pound weight a glove mallet or a bat will work anything all right let's get into it First thing you need to do, you need to work on the break-in points. So one break-in point is gonna be here. You want the glove to close. One break-in point is gonna be here. You want the glove to close. And you want the palm to stay back. So you gotta work on that. That's where you have the ball for. You wanna work on that palm. First, let's work on the break-in points. You're gonna, you're gonna get that one break-in point. You're gonna beat the glove. Go all the way back and then beat the glove. Next, you're gonna flip it over, get that other break-in point, you're gonna... Yes, it's gonna look like it's messing up the leather, but it's not. It's the best leather out there, it's not gonna mess it up. Work on it again. Roll it up. Roll it up. All ready. That's going to show a big improvement on the closing. You just got to keep on working on it. In between, you can roll that, that heel up, make it a little loose. Do the same with the web. It'll just help it close better. Let's get on the breaking points again. What would help with this? Break-in is getting the leather soft. So if you have Rawlings glove treatment, or if you have um, glove conditioner, anything, anything that can get that leather soft will make it work a ton. Now you start taking your ball and just play couch catch. Just chunk it in there. You also wanna work on your pocket. The pocket for your glove, on an infield glove, is right under the index finger. You want the ball to sit here. Notice a lot of young players that their pocket is way up here in the web. You don't, you don't want that. You want a pocket here and a secondary pocket right here. So when you don't close your glove on a ground ball, you want to be able to grab it right there. And when you're catching it, you want it right there. You don't want it any up here. You want it right there under the finger. So you're gonna take your bat, lay it down, work on that. Work on that pocket. Roll that heel. Breaking points. Just hit my finger. It'll be fine. Didn't hit it too hard. You're gonna see a big change at about this point where you can close it a little faster. Make sure you form your glove how you want to during this process. We like to flare the pinky, flare the thumb, and roll the fingers in. Back to work. This is about 10 minutes later, guys. Got it a little more broken in. Repeat this process three to five times a day. It'll be more and more broken in every time. All you can really do now though, is go play catch. You can grab a friend, throw for like 10 minutes every day. If you don't have a friend that lives near you, go grab a pitching machine, and just feed the ball, catch it. Feed the ball, catch it. Just do it for hours. And that's really all you can do. If you don't have a pitching machine, play couch catch. It'll always work. And uh, yeah, that's the video. Hope it informed y'all. Hope you liked it. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, comment your favorite glove that you've seen on the internet. Um, go check out the other videos. Uh, peace.